A wise man once said, a smart man can make a good game better, but only a true idiot can make a bad game worse. Guess what I'm here to do. Hello, I am I am, and you are whoever you are, and I remade Flappy Bird just to put a randomizer in it and make it worse and unfair. Now you're probably wondering, how do you randomize Flappy Bird? It's a bird that goes through pipes that are just kind of there and... They have random heights, so yeah, you could randomize that, but it's already randomized. No, I, that's too easy. I, I, I randomize everything. The jump height of the bird, the pipe spawn rate, the movement speed of the pipes, although that didn't work, and so they just kind of stud. I don't know how that didn't work, and I, I can't figure it out, but oh well, the game must go on. We're on a tight schedule of whenever the fuck I feel like making it. Basically, the way I added a randomizer to it was I literally took the code that randomizes the height of the pipes and just copy-pasted it to then added parameters to the jump height and movement speed and the spawn rate of the pipes. I just multiplied it by random. And there we go, hot diddly squat. We got ourselves a code that'll move the pipes, but we need a sprite for the pipes, and so let's go into that. I used to do animation, I used to do art. I'm pretty sure I can draw two cylinders. In fact, you know what? I got even lazier than that. I drawed one cylinder, copy pasted it on top. Boom, there we go. That's called time management efficiency and it works smarter, not harder. All right, now we need a sprite for our bird. We're making a pixel game, so it'd probably be really easy to do a square now, wouldn't it? But I don't like squares. I like balls, especially blue ones. And there we go. Let's give him a little face because he's happy and disturbed. Kind of like me when I stay up really late watching videos on the YouTubes. The enjoyment I feel helps ignore the reality of the dark world around me falling into a chaotic state, somewhere between agony and responsibility. Also the fact that I have work in the morning and should really be going to sleep, but no, I don't need sleep. I need to watch this Disney artist react to anime rock, paper, scissors. Sorry about that, I got a little off topic for the sake of extending the video. Oh, would you look at that, the game's finished, why don't we play it and see if we can get through 10 pipes. No! No! Oh god, I hit it! Oh, no! Stupid! Stop bouncing like that! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh! Yo! Come on! Go! Dude! 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 Come on! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, fuck this game. I can't close it! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to review this game. Um, I, um... Um... Fuck. Gameplay seems pretty basic, unimaginative. You push one button, that is the only thing you can do. Everything's randomized, it is so goddamn hard. The controls suck, basically. Um, you cannot control your character in any way, because all the movement is randomized. This- it lacks in any kind of- in like, enjoyment and gameplay. Like, there's- there's nothing special that happens once you get through ten pipes or even a hundred. I didn't get through a hundred, but I made the game, so just take my word for it. I'm just gonna be completely honest here, it's just a crappy ripoff of a crappy phone game, like- But I will give the dev the benefit of the doubt, like, he- or she has no idea how to program anything and he made this from Unity, not from scratch. But he or she followed a tutorial the entire way through and only took one piece of that tutorial and just copy pasted it across everything and yeah. I mean, I, I give the game 2 out of 10. That's being generous. If anyone asks in the comments for this game to be like uploaded to like itch.io or some bullshit like that, like don't ask that. I'm not gonna do that. This game is so bad. Maybe if I make a better one or something, but not this. <laughs> this is terrible. Overall, don't play this game and go play something better. Uh, see ya.